We all, oh, we all remember uh, Pokemon or Pokeball Cats. How you yeah. made a mockery of us there. Oh, they're just so annoying to kill. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, they're just so elusive. Yep. Yep. And Paul was it? I probably should have used it back in Platinum. Uh, no, in Gen 4, I think, was the first chance. The only chance I think that I had to use it. I think, I think so, it was yeah. always, I think it's always post game in other game in the other games. Mm. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, um, I don't recall it being a thing in like at least able to catch until Gen Eight. But even then, I think as you said, it's uh, I don't think I don't think you can catch it in uh, in Sword and Shield. No, you can't. It uh, didn't make the Galar cut. Not yet. Although, if we decide to do a couple of battles for um, for posterity after. Yes. We can always use it then. Oh yeah, mm. oh yeah. Like no, like individual teams for one for the BS game, one for the DLCs. Yeah, that'd be really good. Kind of make it into a, like a three parter. Good. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe four parter, depending on if there's going to be more DLCs. Yeah, exactly. I'm still holding out hope. Well, like I said, if they sell well, there's no reason to not do another one. Yeah, uh, like it will be. I don't even know how the sales are going to be for the DLC. I like, I reckon it'll go well. Like I think there's still like it's a very well selling game. And... With the fans, it will. But how many people will be like they'll have put that down to pick up the New Horizons game? Mm. And so, like Pokemon is a done thing for this gen, and they'll not look at it again. Maybe you, you could be right. Um, it's hard to say. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, so now we're in the kind of the beach area. Case in point. Case in point. So you said this was what grass and ground. Grass and ground, yeah. Hmm. We have a grass type. We don't need another. Mm, exactly, and it does know uh, water gun. So the real frustrating thing about this guy is that I think it's like you know, like the, that type of Pokemon that like the stats don't match the moves. Um, yeah, that's one of them. Where like he had a lot of like special moves, but I think he's physically oriented. You know. Oh, this is a shallows. Yeah, it's shallows. Yeah. Um, it's basically like a, that. One, this one is like a tree stage shallows. So it's like it's as you said, it's water ground. Um, yeah. It's good. You know, that's all I can say. It's, it's fine. Um, it would. It's not. It wouldn't be my preferred water type though. I still rather fall rug. I think. Yeah. Oh no, we're good for a water type in this playthrough, I think. I don't think we're we're in any need of getting another one. No, I think we're happy enough for what we have. Um Yeah, this should be quick this should be short work of it. Yeah. There's only a sneeze now, so there we go. Yeah, there's a nice rest spot. Lovely. Very handy. Okay, and we have a trainer as well. <laughs> oh, my elite skills. Oh, uh, hey, let's kill him. 2005 called that. <laughs> You're about fucking 15 years too late for that shit. Oh. I think we've all, as a as a culture, moved on from elite, haven't we? You know. So cringy. <laughs> we've all grown up, and now we have jobs. <laughs> it's, it's not funny anymore. I have no. My elite skills is that I'm is that I'm employed. There's, that's my lead skill. Hmm. Oh, that's so cringy, though. Oh, I know, I know. Gra in, granted, they did, like, deliberately put it in to be cringy, so I can't fault them for that. Yeah. Oh, what the f- Okay, anyway. That was quite harsh. Uh, let's see if we can get Bash on to kill this thing. Damn it. Oh, here we go. Two flinches in a row. Well, we got a third. That's a critical hit, so... Uh, that'll do it. Like, you did so well last episode. <laughs> you did so, so well out the gate. Oh my god, this is awful. So what, that was like three flinches and one critical hit. That's, yeah. that's horrendous. 
Too Boss, much okay. We have, have our boxy boost. It's terrible. Key launch. Okay, we can get a hit on yeah. this one. Oh. Never mind. Never fucking mind. Uh, let Mikey deal with this. Yeah. This is his weird house. So, did you use the Mikey Evolution in the uh, in your own playthrough of this? No, I didn't. Um, I. It's one of the. It's it's the Pokemon that our dad uses as his kind of like his companion. So you'll see it coming up fairly soon. And like it, it's it's clever in the way they did that, so that so they can tell you, oh, hey, Mikey has a new evolve form, and you can go, oh, that's pretty neat. It means nothing to me. <laughs> right. Okay. Um. But yeah, it's it's okay. Um, I wouldn't say I was mad over it initially. Like, yeah. is this a surfetched kind of situation? I guess so. Yeah. Um, Where, if, like, if I recall, it makes it more defensive, which I think was oh. a, an odd thing to do. Ooh, yeah, right. that sounds fairly odd. I'm gonna check here. Got a fire stone. <laughs> No, that's right. Polish the boss normally. Um, I suppose it's the right time to say that this a uh, Cochrane type of deal is kind of here, right? Yeah. So that guy evolves again into like a bigger coconut. And, yeah. Uh, there's a healing item called coconut milk, which I think is like basically acts like a super potion plus happiness. And okay. If you feed your uh, Cochrane Evo. Uh, coconut milk, it evolves into its uh, final form. Final form, okay. Yeah, which I thought was pretty neat. It was like a clever little thing, clever little, really obvious, like, yeah. obvious but should be a thing, evil, you know? Yeah. So, I, thought it was, I thought it was neat. Um, as far as I know, in terms of Mankey, um, his final evo is an item evo. So, like, okay. it holds, and holds it like... and evolves. They're always nice to have. Um, and. Yeah. But was that like late game? You got it. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like, uh, you think you're just gonna throw it like Magmar and Electivirus, Electivirus one? Yes. Um... Uh, those you got really late game, mm. so you'd be stuck with a Magmar, which is not new for so much of it. This is it. Like, I think it's more so like those items are kind of like rewards for using that up as far as you did. Yeah. Um. Like again, the 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 game I was playing uh, Pokemon Insurgents uh, over the over the isolation, and um, the way it does it, it, it had a whole lot of gimmicks going. But the whole idea was that you were supposed to get an Eevee as your for as your starter. Mm -hmm. like, but one of the a character pops in and gives you a choice of uh, three other starters, but they're what they call the Delta species, which are basically like Alolan forms. So you could have gone for like a Bulbasaur that's Psychic Fairy, or you could have gone for okay. a, a Charmander that's Ghost Dragon, or you could have gone for a Squirtle that's Dark Fighting. So they're all like themed in that way. Um, and the, I think the whole idea was that like Eevee was kind of like the hard mode of the game. But you do get a reward later on in the game by getting an uh, Eevee Mega Stone, which then makes Eevee horrendously overpowered. <laughs> so it's kind of like, <laughs> congratulations for making it this far. Now we can use Eevee properly. Um, right, okay. Yeah. And I, I, when I mean OP, I do mean it, because the Eevee turns in... Eevee's uh, ability is Protein Maxima, which means if you have like a, a move... If you have a certain move that's mm -hmm. like... Uh, like say, like Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, the yeah. will transform into the evolution of that move. Just for the space of that turn? Yes. Or... Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So... I like that. So the thing is, like, you obviously trick the AI then, so you can start, like, shadow boxing it a bit. So it might, like, start yeah. for Jolteon, get you an Earthquake, switch to Leafeon, and it does no damage. You know the kind of way? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's good. It's... It makes up for, like, as I say, like, using it for so much. Uh just have been kind of useless mm. you know and, and like I said it, it, the real sneaky thing is that it kind of hits you with the with the ability with the mega stone and like the cape the potential of Eevee so yeah. so like at the right time when you're just about fucking sick of using it <laughs> and it goes okay fine here's your gimmick <laughs> and so it was quite good for that in that regard 
fact, that anything, that's the one novel thing about the about that game is that it had a uh, fan made megas, and uh, as I said, the the Delta Pokemon kind of like preempted the uh, alone forms that we would see mm. later on. But they were. Um, I wasn't a fan of them myself. I didn't really use any. I think mm -hmm. I only used one on my team, and that was just a cover basis. Uh, okay. Turned it on. Four chicks. Go. How dare they use Polarog? I like. I think we should have specified that we're the only ones that can dance. Yeah. <laughs> Still up. Like, this one seems to, uh, to be fair, like we're water steel, so or grass steel, so we are cancelling this thing out immediately. Yeah, but it's water ground, so it should die immediately to any grass move. The fact that we're not one hitting it. No, it's a uh, that's that's the sea snail you're thinking of. Uh, Follow rug is oh, water poison. Water poison. So okay, yeah. grand. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I yeah. guess I don't. I guess I don't hate orchings that much. <laughs> It has a use. Fine, I suppose that. If you insist. Fuck me, that's a lot of. It's either a lot of HP on the thing, or that move went useless. Um. It looks like there's so many blueberries on it. <laughs> it looks like it's got mold. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it needs a good clean. Uh. So. Yeah, I think the fire fire bug one was a better one compared mm. to that. I think so. I, you haven't seen the... I don't think you've seen the electric evo yet, but I still think the fire no. one is the best shit. Mm. Oh, critical hit. That's, that's, that's oh. cruel. That's cruel. Um, fun. <sighs> Balrog again? Mm, we'll be here a while. I'll try Mikey. Like it's. Oh wait, no, it's bug. So yeah, fight won't do much against it. Jeez, another crew here. What's going on? Did it use focus energy earlier? No, I don't think it did. I think just Matt's kicking her ass here. <laughs> it's good. At least the rest house is nearby. That's just, that's something mm. at least. Same oh place. yeah. This is the last one that we're fighting though. Yeah, definitely. Brad. That's it. I'm not chanting my arm okay. like I did last time, I was giving myself anxiety in the edits. <laughs> oh, Sludge, get in there. Lovely. Nice little moves that we have. Wait a second. As oh, Acid was 40 base, this is 65. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. That'll do really well. I kind of like this area. I like how it's, it, lo it looks quite nice. Yeah. Go. Nope. Now we're back. Now we're back on the horse. Um, yeah. This could be a bit, bit, bit of grinding around here. I think might be yeah. necessary. Yeah. Yeah. I think this, this is an area come not necessarily designed for it, but it's useful for it. Yeah. Even just seeing how that was a fairly close match. Mm. Kind of makes you think, right? Are, are we under leveled for the next? Possibly, yeah. But as I say, like the like it kind of does feature like types that are easy to beat, you know. Yeah. But much of the point, like, have you if you got a grass type, you're kind of sorted in this area. But at the same time, like, if you had a nice type, you just kill like all of these coconut lads in one go. Oh yeah. So, I opened up the uh, Bashan. A. Uh, Wiki page just to yes. see any of what levels it learns what at. Okay. Just scrolling down now. Um, just see how long we have to go before uh, it starts doing good, doing good work. Mm. So by level up, it's already had low kick as one of its moves, which it's deleted since. Damn. Near focus energy stop. Beat up at fifteen. Scary face at nineteen. Revenge at twenty five. Faint attack at 31, submission at 37, cross chop at 40. Oh, cross chop, okay. 
Okay. Uh, foul play at 43 and high jump kick at 49. Not bad. So uh, that's not bad. Five levels before we get to uh, right. the next one. Yeah. But it evolves at level twenty-two. Well, we're not too far away from that, actually. Um, yeah. I was like, um, it, it's, it's quite convenient actually because I was going to give it a rare candy <laughs> after this. So. Yeah. <laughs> and it. Ooh. It learns size with toss on evolution. Mm. That always but that's just that's just based off its level, isn't it? So yeah. it might not be the yeah. most useful. But again, it's still Revenge at 25. So no yeah. no harm in no harm in evolving it. No, exactly. Um wouldn't go astray at least. <laughs> we're having a slap fight here, lads. Yeah. No, we're four levels higher. There should not be any issues in this. James, if you say that one more time and a critical hit happens, we're gonna have to have words <laughs> after this session. Like honestly, like. I can't be dealing with all these jinxes all in one, one, all in one day. Oh, no. Slap forever. <laughs> Climatic fight. Truly a, a battle for the ages. Mm. Okay, let's see. You ready to see Bastions of all form? Oh, let's see, have we got... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Her Lordy coming. It is going up in his hind legs. It's going to be more of an Ampharos type then. Yes, precisely. <laughs> it looks so bizarre. No, it looks like it's going to turn into a Minotaur. A I mini Minotaur. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's what they were going with or not. Um, it's hard to say. Anyway. anyway, happy days. We have a seismic toss. Mm. Still a useless fight move for us because it does fix damage. Yeah, so we're gonna we're still gonna keep Mankey in the side for the minute um, until we do get like. I mean, I'm kind of inclined to keep it like until the last minute because like revenge can be hit and miss as well. Like you have yeah. to kind of, you have to kind of take a hit hit first and then you can make use of it. You know, fuck off. <laughs> Have some of that. Okay, yay, he did something. He was useful against something seven levels lower than it. With a four times weakness. Yes. I'm so proud of our grass kitty. Okay. And I know it's still awful, but I'm still happy that we went for that over the uh, water type. Yeah, the, war the water type is not great. Um, or at least that's not it, look it looks so stupid. Yeah, I've always gone for the fire starter because I think that was the that's objectively the, the coolest looking. Mm. Um, but like I said, I think it's like if it was just fire, it would have been like too powerful for the game. So yeah. you can kind of see why they made a ground type as well because like they needed some way to for you to fucking beat it. Yeah. Yes. Um, like if anything come to think of it, this game has like a massive hard off for ground type because like the starter's ground. Um, you have like there's like what we we've got the fucking um, this thing obviously ground yeah type. the son Sonic is ground type fucking the the coconuts ground type and the sea snail is ground type. Well, we have had that before. Like you look at the uh, poison type in Gen One or mm. the um, fairy type, I guess in Gen Six. Like they yeah. they can massively just double down on a type to it or. The bug type in Alola. Oh yeah. Well, actually, I would have said the the bug type in uh, Gen Five. You know, I've said fight, us... fight, fighting in Gen Five nearly. Mm, yeah, possibly too. Yeah, Gen Five was very good for that actually, for like just fleshing out those different uh, types, those unloved types, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, like yeah, I think in fairness, Five was like the first. It gave what um. Venipede, the Venipede line was like the first useful bug type line. Yes, it was. Even uh, if it was still very squishy. It was squishy, but it, like, fuck me, like, using it in the game was actually quite good, like, you know. Yeah. Especially, especially because it was fast. Like, it was, de it was deceitfully fast, I'd say. 
Well, speed boost does that. True, but it, even if you didn't, if you weren't running a, a speed boost, like having the initial like speed stat was really good. Yeah. Especially considering that like its main kind of like function is the toxic beta shock setup. None of us used Venipede in our Gen 5, did we? I don't think so. Ah, no, it would have been, been too easy to kill off, like, we've all yeah. been running a fire type and a, a psychic yeah. type, so... 